Hey everyone, Robert here from Wonderscape Creations, here with another tutorial series. Um, had a few questions about my materials and my stamps. I was going to wait until I had the PCG tools uh, ready as well, but decided to go ahead and squeeze in the time to get this done uh, alongside all the other work that I'm doing. Uh, so the first thing we're going to go over today are the stamps. This is going to be a very short video. No matter how you do it, whether you're using the Landmass plugin or the Errant Landscape plugin, this beginning part is the same. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is to set up the plugins. Um, I have my tab right here always open, but for those that don't, edit plugins. Go ahead and click on that. Type land right here. You could go ahead and type Landmass if you wanted. Uh, check mark the, whichever plugin you're using. Hit yes and restart. Uh, now, once it's restarted, uh, we are going to go into the project files to take care of what we need to add. So what you're going to want to do is click on content, right click, show in Explorer, and that'll bring you up here to the content folder. Next, uh, after you've downloaded and extracted the files, uh, what you'll want to do is open it up and drag it on in. Let it do its thing. All right, and I'm going to do this. Drag this on in, let it do its thing. Now it's important that you do exactly this part before you do anything else. It's okay to replace the files if you want or skip these files. They're exactly the same. Um, now the reason for that is there's a lot of files here and if you don't do it this way first, you're going to lose this parent for these guys. All of a sudden it's not going to be able to find them and the parents of this are going to just be changed to actor uh, and then it's no longer going to work. Once you've uploaded them, uh, installed them in there this way, then if you want to move these things around, rename them, whatever you can. But it's important to set this up properly the right way first so that, like I said, the parent isn't lost. Now, once that's done, um, as you saw, we got two different sets of stamps here. I wanted to show, show it off a slight amount. Next thing you want to do is go into Landscape. Uh, the smart thing to do, um, well, the it's not necessarily the smartest thing to do, but it is a smart method of doing it, is here in Edit Layers, I'm going to right-click, create a new one, right-click, rename, and I'm going to call this one Landmass Stamps. And that's just because that's how I choose to do things. Uh, essentially, all the work that I do here will be saved to that layer. Uh, any work that I do down here won't be affected here, but any work I do here will affect here. Um, the reason I'm doing that for this specific one is for some reason there's a Unreal logo somewhere around here. It bothers the crap out of me. I didn't want to start up a new level for this tutorial. But you do you. Um, so then we come in here. Make sure we're still on the layer that we want the stamp to show up at. And I'm going to choose a random Alaska Mountain. And click on it. And let it do its thing. Now it will take a moment to load everything in. I'm going to go ahead and make this smaller. And let it do its thing while it's loading in. Here we go. Now... For those that get this error that shows up about the texture streaming pool and this doesn't load in, uh, you need to increase your pool size. Uh, you're making a large game, you're using stamps, you're going to need to do that down the road anyways, so you might as well do it permanently. However, for those that don't want to, you can just come down here to the command line, r.streaming.poolsize space. And then whatever number you want, it's usually at like two or three thousand. Um, I have a 12 gigabyte uh, 3080 Ti, so I could do 12,000, 
but 8,000 for the heck of it is what I would generally do. For those that want it permanent, you would go to your um, your project, config, default engine.ini, scroll on down here, look for script and engine render settings, and then texture streaming equals true, and then streaming pool size, and change that. If these are not here, make sure you put them there, and then you won't run into the, uh, the issues, and this will load after a few seconds. All right. Now with that out of the way, oh, that's right. I'm not actually... Let me go to select here. There we go. Now coming over here to landscape again. This time I'm going to go with, instead of Alaska Mountains, I'm going to go for a random cliff. Click. Again, I'm going to change the brush size. I'm going to change this one to a 1. Give it a moment to load. There we go. As you can see, we have two separate stamps here. I've got this weird line coming in right here. Um, some of the stamps do that. And it's quite easy to fix. Zero, one. Sorry, give me a second. Point five. Let's change this to a one. Intriguing that it doesn't want to go away, but I wonder. That's supposed to be blending correctly. Uh, two point three three. No. Let me change this to additive. There we go. Some of the stamps do that. Um, I will be going through down the road and changing that because that shouldn't be happening. I'm going to again reduce this stamp size. As you can see, there's a streak there. You don't want it at one. There we go. Now, if I come over here, I have now merged two stamps together to create a lovely new landscape. There we go. That was a quick tutorial of how uh, to set these up. And to quickly get going, I will do a more extensive one and have it to you guys shortly. Thanks for watching. Bye.